Hey, I'm Bryce. And I'm Kelsey. And today we're going fishing. We're heading out here to Pigeon Lake. It's to, close to the end of the season. Today's date is March 18th, somewhere around there. So time is running out. The weather is heating up. So it's going to be a beautiful day on the ice. Let's go see what's swimming. Hashtag Bloodline Adventures. How is this year's ice fishing season? Wow, if I could put it into words, uh, difficult, uh, rewarding. <laughs> fishing this season was very difficult. The fish were hard to find, and when you could find them, it was difficult to get them to uh, bite the hook. Nonetheless, we got outside, enjoyed some of the beautiful Alberta outdoors. We logged the hours. We definitely got out there and you know, tried a bunch of different spots. We hit the hot spots that are usually the go-to places, right? We're gonna get set up here. We came to the provincial point here in Pigeon. We've got our Helix 10 in ice mode with all of our waypoints and stuff safe from summer, so I know exactly where we wanna be. And tried a couple new spots. We even brought out the camera, the sonar, um, and did our best to try to find where these fish are at. Uh, yeah, so I'm right on the tip of this finger. Should be about 12 feet of water underneath and then it's about 20 feet all the way around. And there's enough machines ripping around that, you know, <laughs> for some reason my skidoo doesn't start later, at least I'll be able to get a ride home. But ha listening from other, listening to other fishermen in the area, they're also reporting that, you know, fishing this, this season for some reason is very difficult. Uh, the bite just doesn't really seem to be on. But nonetheless, we got out, we logged the hours, and you know, it was, it was nice just to get out, enjoy the sun, take it all in, enjoy each other's company, and try to catch a fish. Every fisherman's favorite sound. <laughs> kind of a unique spot, one of the most popular spots in the lake. We're gonna go from essentially four feet of fishable water to probably 24 feet of fishable water over the course of 20 yards. <laughs> My favorite part of the season, uh, getting the footage, bringing the content to the world. Isn't that funny how we come out here to get away from our screens and we end up being glued to our screens? <laughs> um, we um, took the Ayoyo underwater fishing camera and I'm sure you've recognized from a couple of the shots that some, some of it is live time, you know, a camera up against the, the screen. And the other way was we actually found a way to record off the camera. We're gonna shoot it in a future, epi in a future episode to show you how to take the camera, Ioya camera system and rig it through a VHS converter. You can actually record directly from the camera. Secondly, was we found a way to get a little bit more control and dexterity out of the camera by attaching it to a big long boom, an extendable boom. Uh, it's great because it gives you the flexibility to, to move that camera around. Because I think a lot of you are going to share my frustrations with regards to rolling uh, and spinning camera footage, right? I wish we had a way to take that camera image and stabilize it. Well, we went ahead and did that. So I want to show you how we set that up and the clarity on these cameras and just exactly what you can capture underneath the ice to improve your chances of uh, hooking up and catching a fish. We ended up getting a few fish on camera. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot through the ice this season, but nonetheless, I still call it a win because we got out there. We had the fun. We took in the adventure, and that's what it's all about. So if you love the outdoors as much as we do, don't forget to follow along with us. Smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Don't forget, check down below for a complete listing of all the products that we use in this video, and stay tuned for the product spotlight that will be coming out shortly. And don't forget, we love to hear your comments. We love to hear your questions. Drop them in the comment section down below. We'll see you guys on the next episode from Bloodline Adventures. I'm Bryce. I'm healthy. <laughs> we'll see you at the next one. I gotta go. We got an Oilers game to watch.